Hi, it's Julie. Welcome to my channel. I am Scrap and Happy. I want to show you my completed dollar store junk journal Christmas edition. Uh, and before I do that, I need to make a couple of disclaimers. There are five things that I originally bought that I did not use. So that means I have five extra dollars. I did not use this little house. I did not use this very cute rubber stamp. I did not use either of these bags. Though I could have, that would have been a cute pocket. Anyway, that, or this book I got at the Dollar Tree that I was going to use as, you know, the, the cover. Um, I just didn't think I could have, I would have that much stuff to put in a book this size. And I didn't want to, if I wanted to remake the spine and everything, I would just remake the book. So anyway, minus those $5, I then went in and got paper clips. Because, duh, we need paper clips. And um, kind of an important thing, paper. I didn't get any paper of any kind except the flyer from this store. So, mm, kind of important. So I got a tra a pad of tracing paper and I want to say there was one other thing. Well, if I come to it, oh, um, washi tape. Alright, so those three things. So I'm still two dollars ahead. And let me see, why is that? There we go. Yeah, so my cover is made out of a gift box, the top of a gift box. These little bells here are off of those Jingle Bell uh, tags. I'll show you, but I took two of them off. <clears throat> my my uh, back is, or the cover, the inside cover is interesting to me. So I didn't want to cut the box and have ragged edges or raw edges. So I just, it's folded down, I just glued it into place so that I would have pretty um, edges. Well then it left me this rectangle across the whole inside of the lid of gray chipboard. So I happened to find in my uh, trash of my um, things I bought from Dollar Tree a piece of um, plastic wrap that was exactly, you know, plus maybe a half an inch the size of the opening. So I went in with those stickers, you know, those, um, it was like three pages, three big pages of these glittery stickers. And I just made a collage and uh, covered that and glued it down. But the problem with that is they started peeling up. So then I went in and got another piece of uh, packaging, the cellophane and glued it over top. That way we're not actually touching the stickers and probably won't pull them up. Because when you would, uh, when I would bend it or do, you know, move it in a certain way, it would pop up one of the edges of the, of the little stickers. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I mean, not, not rocket science, but you know, the thing about this is I had to think outside the box and I really enjoyed that. Trying to, trying to come up with stuff with, you know, just a little bit of materials and not being able to rely on my stash and, you know, just, you know, it's kind of fun. So, pocket. And I lined, this is wrapping paper, but I lined it with a piece of the uh, tracing paper just to give it a little more stability because the wrapping paper is pretty thin. Anyway, here are some... Reindeer Rummy cards. Picked up a card game there at the Dollar Tree. Put some in there. This is one of the. Uh, it was doubled. You know, it had it had a little plastic thing on the back of this, and then behind it was a sticker identical to this, and it had a a jingle bell on it. So I took his and one other off and made put the jingle bells here, and he's just paper clipped on with one of my paper clips. I went back and got. I had a ton of these. 24 of these were in a package, so this is like a tuck. And this is so cute. I didn't eat the cookies. It was Santa. 
so cute. It's like a, a gift card holder or money holder. Um, and I made it into a pocket or a tuck. I made a little book out of wrapping paper and, um, you know, tra uh, sketch paper, sketch pad paper, whatever. So a lot of this is blank, but you know, I won't stay that way long. An envelope from the little, um, that thing just tucked in here and this I did one of those old-fashioned fold it in half and then cut uh, I made a couple of Christmas trees out of that and I thought that was kind of fun this is part of one of those little gift bags is that the cutest thing you've ever seen I'm looking at gift bags in a whole new way oh, we'll put that in later Another gift bag, and this is the side of this. Little stocking, and this is the side of this one. Now, this page, okay, I didn't, I mean, I realized I could put these all through the book and and you know who knows I'm at but I for some reason I just thought this would be so fun uh, for a little kid to play um, paper dolls or um, puppet show I guess would be more like it with these little guys because you know you can hold them and have them talk and play and then these guys are just clipped on so you, I don't know I, they may it may not be a good idea at all but it just I thought it was cute to have them all here and when it's uh, fussy time or bored or whatever we can play um, with this for a few minutes until we get done with whatever we're doing. Another pocket. <laughs> mistletoe kiss. Mistletoe kisses, excuse me. Uh, one of the tags that came with the dark green wrapping paper and I just I had one thing of my trash we need to think of a better word for that of my recyclable materials that the back of it was red so I cut some lips out for mistletoe kisses and and here's our ad and I glued let's see take this glued the um, envelope on and here can hold receipts or lit a list or you know whatever and then this was off of one of the bags the little bags for uh, it was like a just a decoration on the handle so put that same thing here just glued the envelope on peace love and joy was the um, tag that went with the gold wrapping paper this one here and I made the bottom of one of my bags, one of my little, just this one here, was red. <clears throat> so I cut these out, and I did this first, then I didn't have anything red for the lips. Then I found the recyclable materials. Anyway, I thought that was cute. I have hearts holding up the peace, love, and joy. And then, it's not real... Um, decorated little Santa sticker um, but I figure if you use it for like a December daily or a you know your Christmas month your, your month of December to run all your errands and do all your stuff and plan all your parties you're gonna fill it up with writing and and things so I guess it's alright that it's not just cram packed and here's another little um, gift card holder, another little booklet with a uh, wrapping paper cover, the bottom of, actually this bag, I thought that was cute, Just I backed it with that uh, white bottom of this um, the box I use for the cover, you know, just has a solid white bottom. So I used it 
for a lot of tag um, backing. I'll tell you, I got really excited when I remembered I had that too. Because I was just sitting there trying to figure out what I was going to do with some of this stuff. <clears throat> Another little Christmas tree. <laughs> and and a, the other side of the bag. This is the packaging for the, um, this thing here. Well, she taped it on, put it, <laughs> put one on the back and a little Santa. Bag. And there's the snowman uh, whose Jingle Bell I stole for here. And the back of the book. And that is it. It's not very fancy, but it was really fun. Kara and Julie, I appreciate y'all putting this together. Um, it really did. I did have to think outside the box. And I, I like that because now maybe I will think outside the box more often. So anyway, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And y'all have a good day.